Hey, yo, I got 30 bucks for whoever bought Cyberpunk. I mean, it's not a full refund, but I mean, hey, it's something, you know. What do you expect? I mean, that's what your dumb asses get for buying that game! Now, for no one who's familiar with the hype with Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk was one of the most anticipated games of the year. After everybody played that at E3, a bunch of video game companies played it, video game publications, a, a, pretty much everyone reviewed it, a bunch of YouTubers, everyone reviewed it, said it was one of the best games, um, had great graphics, great story, great everything, and of course you had the iconic name attached to it, um, of course, John Wick. Oh, fuck, I'm so stupid. Um, Neo, I was getting mixed up. But pretty much it was the most anticipated game of the year. And it flopped. Like a dolphin, dolphin out of the water. Do they flop or die? I think it flops, then die. Poor dolphin. Rest in peace, Neil. JK, it didn't flop technically, but pretty much what we anticipated versus what we got. See a difference? Exactly, there is none. The game was released literally like I think 24 hours later. Everyone on Twitter was going crazy talking about, oh my god, what's happening? You know, is this common? You know, everyone noticed that they had the same thing in common. There were a lot of bugs and glitches in the game that normally you wouldn't see in a video game. I understand it's like a, you know, technology based retro game, but like you, you were seeing stuff like, like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much on this day, um, or I think yesterday, pretty much this week, um, the company announced that they will be removing. Um, the said game Cyberpunk off the PSN network, plus more specifically, um, PS4 users, not really PS5, I didn't really hit too many PS5, but PS4 users were saying they were experiencing like a lot of just glitches and just stuff that just wasn't, you know, supposed to be there. Which is the PS4. Like, it hit, it hit PS4 like a fucking, like a fat person on a diet who just saw like a candy bar. <laughs> no offense to fat people, I love that. My BBW! Now that we got the little backstory out the way, that was the plot, that was, you know, the, 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 the plot. This is the filler. Nah, JK, this is the end. This video's not gonna be that long. I am a VFX artist who has been a VFX artist for a good, almost a decade now. And I'm gonna tell you why you should not blame the game developers on why the game wasn't as, as it's supposed to be. I can't. I'm not a game developer. I'm a VFX artist. You saw the title. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna clickbait my channel like that. Uh, I am a VFX artist and I've never really developed a, developed a game so I technically can't really give you a input of why you shouldn't blame them. But however, I believe that a game developer falls under artists just like me. I did a time skip when I was talking about the um you know them taking the game off the PSN market. They didn't just take the game off the PSN market. Before they did that there was at least three to four like updates that they pretty much tried to fix on the game so that it could be playable um so it is pretty pretty obvious they tried to fix it they knew it was wrong this now usually games that you know they get released you know they don't get too many patches like that to fix things like this usually get patches you know update the game you know season one you know warzone or call of duty black ops i love that game by the way are you fucking kidding me so games usually don't have like three to four updates a week after release. Now, why is that? Well, it was rushed. Oh no! They pushed this game back at least 50 times. I might be exaggerating, but it was around like at least 10, 12 times. This game kept getting pushed, pushed back. It was actually people complaining on Twitter, a bunch of people just, you know, upset because, you know, da da da. And that's where y'all become a problem. I'm not saying that you guys are the reason that this game is the way it is, but I will have to say there needs to be some accountability with the high demand of the game. You know, it had a bunch of people demanding pretty much the developers to release it early. Maybe another couple of months or maybe another year, but people were ready. They wanted the game now. And I thought that was pretty obvious that something might have went wrong once it was, was released because, well, it seems that they didn't really have everything that, you know, they wanted or needed. It was perfectly fine, especially as an artist, I understand that it takes a while to make things per perfect. Now, to correlate with me as a VFX artist, there's been many times where a client might need a product within a certain time frame, and VFX, depend, especially depending on your computer, you know, it takes a minute. I understand I'm just one person, not a whole company, but it's pretty obvious that this stuff is not easy, and I can tell just based off the graphics and correlating it with VFX that this is not easy. I don't blame the game developers for not being able to have, you know, Cyberpunk, I'm sure that it will go back on the PSN market eventually, or maybe not, you know, you might it might just be an Xbox exclusive product of high demand with little time. Put them together. Am I missing what's happening? 
or oh oh, oh there, there we go. go make sure you hit the like button subscribe i'll try to make more you know trending topic videos um i noticed that a lot of people like those and i low-key like talking about them and expressing my feelings and concerns so uh yeah <laughs> uh leave a comment if you want more videos like this and uh, i'll see y'all later